Hey YouTube, I'm back with another video. This time I'm showing you guys how I did a crochet style with this Water Wave three times sprayed hair. Um, I really love this style. I do half up, half down with a little bit of leave out, but check it out. This is the way the hair looks. And this is me after I've separated the pieces that I'm gonna put in. So now I'm just freshly washed and um, blow dry it. I'm just sh shaking around just to kind of get started. I just recently cut off um, a lot of the dye that I had for a couple years. It was really damaged and dry and so I've just been cutting it um, probably almost a year now trying to cut it all off. So let's just get into it. I start off with parting the half up half down. Um, this is me just checking to make sure my part is straight. Each time I do the part in a different place just so that I'm not wearing out the same spot over and over each time I do it. I have been wearing the same style for about uh, a couple months now just using different hair. So just separate the hair, get it out of the way. And now we are on the part where I just show my leave out. I do a really thin sliver and I kind of did a V part at the top. What's different this time is I didn't do any leave out at the very back. It was just a hassle trying to get it up in my ponytails that I was doing. So I just left it out and left the sides out all the way around to the front. As you can see, here we go. So this isn't a braiding tutorial. However, I can post the braiding tutorial in the description box. Here I'm just braiding around. I've started the braids off coming away from each other just because I wanted to keep the sides as flat as possible. The problem I was running into previously was that it was so fat and thick that it looked like a speed bump <laughs> every time I pull my hair up into a ponytail so I really did my best to try to avoid that same uh, problem I had. So yeah, I'm just braiding, 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 yada, yada, yada. Also, I do want to note that I split the hair because I just don't like it to be su super full. I enjoy a uh, not thin, but a relatively thinner ponytail, top and bottom, just so that I don't have to have a lot of effort trying to get the hair through the ponytails. And also it's just, I don't like to have all that hair on my head. I like to just keep it simple, one, two packs, and I'm good. I saw a YouTuber, she said she used seven packs of this hair, and it comes already with three bundles, I mean, I don't know how she got in the seven packs because <laughs> I'm like, I just don't have enough braiding space, but I don't know. I use one pack and I mean, it's $10 for one pack. So I just feel like I, I did the, I'm going to, that's all I was going to use. So here I am just showing how I'm braiding to this specific middle part that I have in the back. I didn't want to braid it all around in like a beehive style because I just felt like I didn't want to do that this time. So I didn't. <laughs>
All right, y'all. So this is getting down to the nitty gritty. This is where I was telling you guys how I divided the hair in the middle towards the back so that I wouldn't have to make a full beehive braid. And I did just mess this up. So I'm just going back through and reparting it so that it gives a better look to me. I didn't like how I looked in the mirror. So anyways, I have the both pieces braided up and I'm just gonna now braid the rest of the hair straight back and pull up the loose end up into the next braid. So this is gonna create about six medium braids in the middle and that is where actually, <laughs> I was gonna say that's where the rest of the crochet hair but the gag is the crochet hair doesn't really make it on this middle part. I actually just leave it, just braid it. So I only crochet the perimeter of the top and the bottom of my hair because I like it to be, like I said, a flatter look so that I can put it up and um, down and it's not too much hair. All right, that was a lot of fast forwarding, but I figure this isn't a braid video, so you don't really need to see me braiding. Um, I do wanna highlight um, just the pattern that I did. And so I have about, I think these are six braids, and I braid it down and then I pull it up. So there you can see how it's kinda just coming diagonally down, and then the loose end, I pull it up and add it to the next braid. So I end up with one braid just to like crochet in it um i don't sew it down because why i just i just don't really care that much to sew it down so i don't so i'm gonna go ahead and braid this to the end Now this is the type of pattern that I have used the previous uh, crochet brace that I had, which is a zigzag, which I braid from one side to the other and then I connect it on the other side. So here I am. It's just really like maybe two and a half times through. So I did this pretty fast because like nobody's gonna see this. This is either gonna be down or go straight up into a ponytail. Like I said, and I just crochet the little hair into uh, another piece of the braid. Oh, that one was too fast, so I had to redo it. Um, that didn't work. Finally, we are here. This is the leave out that I have. Like I said, it's pretty thin. I don't like too much left out. It's just gonna lightly go over my ponytail. So this hair, a big con of this hair to me is that it got super fuzzy when I tried to separate it. That is a very big con of this hair. I don't like how fuzzy it got. It was, really really frustrating um like i said i like to use one pack of hair and i like to separate that like the big spring rolls that usually come in a pack and i like to separate it at least three times because it's so much hair that i don't like it but with this hair it gets fuzzier and fuzzier the more times you separate it so um by the end of this video i had to end up using a flattening mousse just to even get it to be somewhat decent so yeah
all right so here i am like an hour or two later and i'm almost done with the perimeter as you guys can see this is what it looks like that braid that i braided you can barely see um any evidence of it i've pretty much tried to cover it um with the crochet hair and I end up cutting that hair because I just didn't have time to be pulling that hair through and through and through and it's getting caught. So this is the middle part. I put my head down too far. Uh, I hope you guys can see it. So the middle hair doesn't actually have any crochet braids. They're only on the outside perimeter. And so I'm doing a crappy job of showing, but I'm gonna try to do it again. So this is the type of volume I like for my ponytails. When I add the bottom one, it'll be a pretty thick one. So as you guys can see, the hair is already kind of shedding just because of how fuzzy it is. I just, uh, I just don't like that. So now I'm just gonna bun this out of the way so that I can start working on my leave out. I just usually twist it up and put it back. Um, I leave the back down and then I'll put the front and the sides into the top ponytail. I just use that Cream of Nature twisting cream to twist because like I said I'm just going to take it down or I'll just put it back in a ponytail and I don't think it really matters. All right, folks, here I is. This is the back. Um, like I said before, I had cut the hair in half and just started crocheting that because that was just too much. And this is the front, it's just twisted. And I'll either just tie like a little wrap on it. I also decided to add purple on the end of that. Purple's my favorite color, so I have to put it in wherever I can. But yeah, just some chunky twists. I'll put it back and then I'll put on like a little scarf in. That'll be my thing. See you guys. Thanks for watching and come back and let me know in the comments if you guys like this hairstyle or if you would try it. Let me know.